Hi, welcome to our special Cal Day episode of Berkeley Beat. I'm Aaron Thiel. And I'm Allie Green. The Berkeley Beat starts now. Before we get into the coverage of Cal Day, we're first going to discuss the tragic death of iHouse custodian Damon Frick. While cleaning the windows of iHouse's auditorium, Frick fell 20 feet off of a motorized lip where he sustained fatal injuries. It has not been released whether his fall was the result of equipment failure. Employed at UC Berkeley since 2011, Frick was well known and liked in the iHouse community. The iHouse community and Berkeley community at large offers their condolences and support to his family. On a brighter note, the time has come this year for UC Berkeley to showcase its best qualities to the world. All of campus opened up this Saturday for Cal Day, the annual open house, and I was there for all the action. Yeah, I can tell from that sunburn on your neck, Aaron. Uh, let's take a look. Hey guys, I'm talking to you right outside Sproul Plaza where thousands of people have come out to take part in the biggest open house of the year, Cal Day. The entire campus was packed this Friday as students and visitors alike took part in UC Berkeley's annual expo. Each year, Cal Day attracts everyone, be they families, prospective and current students, or alumni. However, Cal Day is really for the incoming freshmen who will be starting up in the fall, who have overcome the challenge of getting into Berkeley, but now face an even more daunting challenge, absorbing everything there is to do now that they're in. Um, I've visited before, but now like there's more context with being able to visit the classes and see things more specific, like exactly what opportunities are offered here. I, for my, all of my other acceptances, I didn't really like react that much. I was like, oh, okay, I got in, yay. But then I screamed for Cal because Cal is my dream school. There certainly wasn't a dull moment for these freshmen. If it happens at Berkeley, you can bet you could have found it at Cal Day. Every club, be it professional, social, or athletic, had a presence in hopes of attracting these new freshmen. Whereas most of the semester you can find these groups' tables mostly in Sproul Plaza, on Cal Day the student organizations were so numerous that they stretched from the Cram Sproul Plaza, past Dunnell and Wheeler Hall, and all the way to Memorial Glade. There was literally something for everyone at this event. One might even say that the only limit was your own imagination. Now one of the strongest things that I got out of Cal Day was, uh, you can't really capture it on video, but the electric atmosphere that you have. And uh, this is my first Cal Day, my first year as a UC Berkeley student. And I'm just really glad that the university continues to do this uh, kind of event after all the decades that it's been doing that. You know, Cal Day was actually my first experience at UC Berkeley, and it was a big reason why I wanted to come here. Now it's time for the Berkeley Fun Fact of the Week. Allie, do you know why there's a bust of Abraham Lincoln at the base of the Campanile? No, I don't, Aaron. It's because in 1862, Abraham Lincoln signed into law the Morrill Land Grant Act, and without this legislation, the UC Berkeley campus would never even have existed. Wow, you're better than my AP US history textbook. You got that right. Okay, so make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for live news updates. I'm Allie Green. And I'm Aaron Thiel. And that's it for this week's Berkeley Beat.